chemistry assignment, I have chosen to do the molecule Flixitide. Flixitide is a pretty important molecule to me as it's medication I take every day. And to me, it looks a little something like this. Flixitide is a medium potency synthetic corticosteroid and I use it topically to relieve symptoms of inflammation and allergens. Flixitide, or known as fluticasone propionate, has a chemical formula that looks like this. It has 25 carbon atoms, 31 hydrogen atoms, 3 fluoride atoms, 5 oxygen and 1 sulfur. It's got a molar mass of roughly 501 with roughly 188 valence electrons. As you can see, its composition is right here. It's got roughly 60% carbon, roughly 7% hydrogen, roughly 11% fluorine, 16% oxygen and roughly 7% um, sulfur. It's in the kingdom of an organic compound and it has a class of steroid and steroid derivative. Before, we saw the 3D version of a flixotide molecule and it was a little confusing. So we're going to take it to a 2D picture and we're going to break down the structure to see some key features. And this is the 2D version. The first feature I want to look at is something called an alkali group and this is represented by the CH3s. This is actually a fragment of a non-polar methane molecule. Second of all, we have a hydroxyl group within the molecule, and that's this HO here. This indicates that there's an alcohol within the molecule. Thirdly, we have these four ring-like structures, and these are called allopathetic rings. In addition to the standard bonding structure, we have two different types of bonding. We have two float, floating carbon bonds here, and we have three sets of double bonding. So how does flixotide actually work? Before I said it was a corticosteroid, meaning that there's cortisol within the flixotide molecule. And cortisol looks a little something like this. Cortisol works by crossing cell membranes, and in my body, it's my mast cells and my eosinophils. Once within the cells, it binds to receptors and this stops inflammation. But how does it stop the inflammation? It stops it by altering transcription and protein synthesis and decreasing the release of nucleic acid. But how does the structure of flixotide help cortisol stop the inflammation? Well, before we saw these, all these different features of the molecule, combined all of the features make a very strong molecule that's extremely hard to break down. Once in the body, Flixotide doesn't break down until cortisol has done its job of stopping my inflammation. So, if you ever find your doctor prescribing you something called Flixotide, you get it and it looks a little something like this, don't be fooled because there's more to this little guy than meets the eye. And there you have it, your crash course on the molecule Flixotide.